Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and if you recall a few weeks back I had unboxed the QNAP NAS that's the TS269 Pro and this is the one and it had a HDMI unit at the back and we can do quite a few things with this HDMI port and actually uh, QNAP has released a new application called HD Station by which you just connect this HDMI port to your television and now this NAS can act as a what do you say a media streamer media player and I would even say that like it can uh, replace a home theater PC because it also has a full fledged web browser so let's have a closer look at the same. Before I show you the HD station, let me show you the things that you need. First thing is that you need a QNAP NAS that is compatible with HD station. As of shooting this video, the TS69X series of NASs, most of them are compatible. Also look at your NAS and check the QNAP website for compatibility. Also you will need a HDMI cable to connect it from your NAS to your television or a HDMI monitor etc. And also you will require a, what do you say a keyboard or and a mouse if you want to use the Chrome features that's web browsing on the same. I used it with generic USB mice and it worked but I'm using a Logitech wireless mice for convenience and also I'm using going to use a wireless keyboard that's a Microsoft keyboard. Also uh, QNAP sells this remote and if your QNAP model has an IR receiver for example the model that we're using is the uh, TS269 Pro and it has an IR receiver so we can use this QNAP remote also. So now let me show you the HD station connected to my home theater system. Uh, so here is the QNAP NAS and as you can see it's near my Xbox in my entertainment center. And I have not directly connected it to the television but I have connected it to the AVR receiver so that we can know if it's passing the digital signal or just an analog signal. And now let me show you the same. We can operate it via the QNAP remote. Also I attached a wireless keyboard and a wireless mice. To use the Chrome browser and the YouTube app we need to use the mouse so I have connected that. So let me show you the same now. And this is the default interface that we get. And now I'm going to use the QNAP remote and first I'll show you the XMB media center application. To control the XMB media center I'm going to use the QNAP remote but you can also use the mouse if you would like. And here we have uh, menus like uh, the, we can watch our pictures, videos. I'm going to show you some of the videos. For example, uh, you can just browse the files that are available on the NAS itself or you can also browse it on a DLNA server etc. For example, let me show you uh, some of the videos that are on my DLNA server and let's go to the trailers and I'm going to play back this trailer now I'm going to lower the volume and as you can see it plays it back flawlessly this is a 720p video clip no issues so let me get out of the same I also tried 1080p video clips and uh, that also was fine. I also tested it with multiple video formats for example like MKV, DivX, AVI, MOV etc and I did not face any issues with the same it could play back videos for example this is an AVI video that's in 1080p and as you can see it could play that without any issues. Also WMV videos I tried and it played so now uh, it could play back multiple video formats without any issues. Now I'm going to show you again this is a WMV video that's encoded in 720p and as you can see it could play it back without any issues. So in terms of uh, video formats I didn't face any issues with the uh, HD station on the QNAP NAS. Let me show you one more thing that's interesting is the add-on option over here if you notice if I click that we get access to tons and tons of internet stations for example I have added some of these and if we go to get more as you can see we get thousands of and thousands of stations so again it's kind of video on demand and you have tons and tons of uh, uh, video channels to browse around so that's incredible and again they work beautifully for example let me show you the same and let's go to the add-on for example let's go to revision 3 pretty popular and it's loading and if I go to let's say uh, for example Techzilla I click on the same it shows us the latest listing and if you just hit play it will just start playing back the same and now it's streaming directly from the net again we need a, a pretty good internet connection for it to work obviously 
but again as you can see it's streaming in 720p hd without any issues so that also works great with this one as you can see i'm going to get out and i tested this for a couple of hours and it worked brilliantly actually so this is also really great about this one one little con that i have with this uh, is that uh, I found it that it is just playing the audio in what do you say uh, analog format it's not passing in digital so for example I have this video that's encoded I know it, it has Dolby digital but still it's passing it as a normal let me show you the same now I'm just playing back that video and if you notice my AVR receiver is just showing the analog signal it's not showing the digital if it would have passing the digital signal Dolby digital should have come here but it's not doing that and i tried a bunch of settings let me show you the same let me go back we do have a lot of settings here uh, for example let's go to systems and settings and from here if we go to system again you can check this audio output and only uh, i'm hearing audio when i keep it to analog if i change this to hdmi or anything else the audio is simply not working maybe this is a bug or something like that or i'm using a wrong setting I'll check with QNAP uh, if there is a solution to this. I'll add that in the show notes. But apart from that, this uh, XMB app is working great. And it's a great, what do you say, uh, home theater replacement. And if I hit the power button again from the QNAP remote, I'll just go back to this menu. And here again, we have options. The first one is Chrome. And this gives us a full Chrome web browser. Now I'm going to use the keyboard and mouse to navigate and uh, it did uh, it's trying to get back to the stuff for example let me just go to tech2bus.com and as you noticed it loaded it fairly quickly and we have tab browsing for example let's go to tech mimi and it's pretty fast i'm going to open a bunch of tabs now and let's open news.com and as you can see it is really fast it's not like a dumbed down experience so with web browsing it was pretty good and also it has what do you say flash support for example i'm going to show you that and on this site uh, this is a youtube video that's uh, encoded in flash and it'll start playing if you see let me right click and it says adobe flash 11.5.3 and as you can see, it plays the video without any issues. Let me increase the volume also. And it works perfectly. So let me get out. So again, it, we have a full-fledged browser. It's not like a dumbed-down experience or something like that. So I was pretty impressed with the web browsing on this. And it's also fast. And uh, we can just double-click this and move it around. Let me go back now. I'm going to close this and come back here and this is an app by which you can control the QNAP NAS it's the administration page and uh, lastly we have the YouTube app again uh, it will give you this option that you need a mouse or something like that and I have a mouse connected and now to load the YouTube app again uh, as you can see it can play back uh, again let me search for my own videos that's Geeky Ranji and uh, for example let's play back the samsung s galaxy video again we can toggle between the hd and full screen let me go to the full screen first samsung galaxy and s duos this is a dual sim android phone and i'll switch to hd feed now and as you can see we can play it back without any issues also you can use the qnap uh, nap to extend to control this one again i found it pretty uh, good and we can also uh, if you don't want to use this app actually you can always go back to the chrome browser and use the youtube experience the full web experience that you get on the desktop let me show you the same now i'm going to uh, fire back the chrome browser and this time we'll go to youtube directly from this one and also uh, i was surprised that extensions on chrome work so I installed a few extensions here and as you can see uh, we are getting the full uh, YouTube experience again this is my video so I can just uh, we can view this 
and as you can see it's again in the normal desktop experience that you get and let me toggle to full screen like this and you can hit escape to go back and you can also change let me change it to 720p HD again as you can see a complete experience so that's the browser and it supports complete flash let me get out we can hit the uh, what do you say the power button from the QNAP remote to come back to this menu also so uh, this is a quick overview of the QNAP HD station I hope you found this uh, video helpful if you found it helpful I'll appreciate if you can click on the like button given below that's it for now this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video